The early screening inventory, which we call the EASY and now the EASY-3, has a long history. It began uh, shortly after I finished my doctorate at, at, at Harvard University and became an assistant professor at uh, the Department of Child Study at Tufts University. And shortly after that, I was appointed the head of the lab school at, uh, at Elliott Pearson, called the Elliott Pearson Children's School. And one day, this would be around um, 1974 or 70, yeah, probably around 1974, I got a call from the director of special education in a neighboring school district, Somerville, Massachusetts. Somerville, uh, at that time, and I don't know if, I doubt it's true today, Somerville at that time was one of the most uh, um, uh, intensely populated, highly populated small areas or small cities in the U.S. It had uh, uh, almost every uh, domicile in Somerville was, uh, was what people would call a three-flat uh, or a, uh, it had, there, there were three um, one-family homes, one on top of each other, and there are a lot of these. Another characteristic of Somerville is it had a very, very high uh, density of Portuguese uh, immigrants. So we had the, the two largest uh, uh, spoken languages in, in Somerville were Portuguese and, and English. In any case, the head of sp uh, special ed uh, called me up, asked me if I'd come in, said that uh, there's a new law in Massachusetts known as Chapter 766, and Chapter 766 called for developmental screening of all entering kindergartners. And at that time, Somerville had a thousand kids who were entering kindergarten each year. And what uh, this um, uh, special ed administrator asked me to do was to develop or to use, uh, to, to train people to use a developmental screening tool um, for those who were already enrolled in kindergarten and for the next year's uh, uh, kindergartners. That'd be 2,000 uh, children. And uh, so I said, well, let me get back to you. And I went back to my colleagues at Tufts and I, and I asked one of them uh, who d did a lot of assessment work, um, do you know anything about developmental screening? And he said, the only thing I know is the Denver developmental screening test, very, very widely used at that time and still in use. Um, and so and it, I said, where do I get a copy? He said, here it is, gave me a copy. I, and I took it away and I looked at it. And what I saw in the Denver was there were very, very few items for children between ages four and five. So I realized I wasn't going to be able to uh, use this. And at that time, there were very, very few other developmental screening tools that I was able to identify. So um, having uh, had a lot of background uh, with kids, I decided and in, in child development, I would develop my own. And with one of my graduate students, Martha Stone Weiske, we developed uh, what was then known as the Elliott Pearson Screening Inventory. Eventually, and, and we trained people and um, collected data, began to publish on it. Um, eventually, as I left uh, Massachusetts and went to Michigan, we just called it the Early Screening Inventory. We've done national studies of it. Now, Chapter 766, to go back to that, was the precursor of 94142, the Education for All Handicapped Children's Act. Today we call it IDEA, Individuals with, Dis uh, with Disabilities Education Act. Uh, all of these acts are versions uh, or uh, amendments of each other, and they all call for, uh, for young children to be, uh, to be found, identified, and, and screened. Um, but there are, there are still a lot of children who don't get developmental screening. Um, um, over time, what my colleagues and I did was to uh, extend the, uh, the easy, which had been for four to five-year-olds, to include three-year-olds also. And we created two versions of it, what we called the Easy P, which was the Easy Preschool version, and the Easy K. And that was uh, from four and a half. So the first one was three to four and a half, and the Easy K was from four and a half to age six. And then eventually we added a Spanish version of both of the, both Easy P and the Easy K. And now, as you 
can see, well, you, you understand, we have uh, yet another edition of the, of the EASY, of the early screening inventory, called the EASY-3, meaning that we're referring it to, uh, to it as the third edition. Uh, and it's the third published edition. There have been many efforts at doing this. But our research has been extensive over time, uh, and uh, we've done national studies, uh, we've done uh, in-depth studies that include large samples of children with special needs, and uh, so forth and so on. But uh, this has been the history, beginning in the, uh, really from 1974, 75, something like that, to the present. Um, it's had very wide use all across the U.S. and internationally, and I hope you will find it to be a useful instrument for you in your work identifying young children at high risk for school problems.